Welcome to Curious Minds, Kind Hearts. It's Heather, and I'm so glad you are here. Before we get started, please consider sharing this podcast or becoming a patron for special bonuses. I appreciate your being here and your listener support. This episode is made for kids of all ages, and today's story is about choosing kindness. Okay, let's begin. Lucy was adventuring in the forest one cool, foggy day. She really enjoyed foraging for mushrooms in the grassy meadows and under the tall redwood trees. She always found the fungi fascinating. They varied from short and plump to tall and stringy. Some had spots and others had stripes. It was her favorite activity. Ho, hum, hoom, look, I found a mushroom, she sang as she put her earthly treasures in her basket. She imagined that she would take them home to propagate some of her own and still others she would cook for a yummy meal. She was an expert at identifying which ones were safe to eat. Ho, hum, hoom, this is my favorite mushroom. Even though collecting mushrooms was her favorite thing to do, she only really was able to forage a few times a year due to the weather and soil and also because she was a busy person with lots of responsibilities. So when she got the chance to retreat into the woods, it was really special. Lucy had just found a rare mushroom, caramel and maroon in color, when she heard a twig snap behind her. She turned to look and was a little surprised by what she saw. A tiny fox was gently pacing behind the trunk of the massive tree. She wasn't scared, but interested instead. He looked a little hungry, but all she had was her cherished mushrooms. She looked around, but it would be months before apples would be ready and all the berries had been picked clean off the nearby bushes. As she thought, the fox began creeping closer. He moved slow so as not to frighten Lucy. It was like he knew that she was cautious. Eventually, the fox sat down right next to Lucy's basket of mushrooms. Ho, hum, hum, looks like you've found a mushroom. It was pretty apparent what the fox was eyeing. Are you hungry, Mr. Fox? Lucy asked. He put his chin towards the ground while his eyes looked up with a resounding yes. Now that she was really seeing the fox, he looked to be a kit or very young. Lucy wondered where the fox's mom was, and she all of a sudden became a little sad. She looked at her basket of perfectly collected mushrooms. She really really wanted to keep those for herself. She worked so hard this morning, searching, digging, and placing them gently in her basket. She thought to herself, what else can I give this baby fox? She wished with her whole heart that something, anything, would appear. But alas, it did not. She knew deep down that no matter how much she wished for a different situation, the circumstances did not change. The only food nearby was the mushrooms. Her mushrooms. They were hers, right? Lucy looked again at the fox and saw how majestic he was with his soft fur, his tail that was his cuddly pillow, and his deep amber eyes that sparkled in the shade. She closed her eyes and dove down deep into her own heart and asked, How would I feel if I were hungry and lost? She decided that she would feel sad, scared, and alone. And hungry, too. She reached into her basket and gently pulled a mushroom out to offer the fox. His ears perked up, and he softly nuzzled her hand to take the food. He scarfed it down. Lucy realized that he was hungrier than she thought. And while it made one tiny part of her heart twinge just a bit to empty the basket in front of the fox, it made her whole heart happy to know that she could help the fox fill his belly and not be so scared. Before she left the forest that day, Lucy decided to help the fox make a den where he would be safe and she promised to come check on him. Her kindness that day gave something to Lucy more than she could imagine. A friend in the forest. They did become the best of friends, foraging together, enjoying foggy mornings, and sitting under tall trees in the solace of the woods. Let's walk out of the forest together and out of Lucy's world and talk about kindness and generosity. 
How did Lucy show the fox kindness? What did she do? Kindness is a choice, always. Sometimes it is not easy. Part of kindness is being generous or giving your time, talents, or possessions to others in need without expecting anything in return. Lucy had a difficult time, right? She spent a lot of the day picking the perfect mushrooms and was so excited to take them home. She had plans! At first, she really didn't want to give her mushrooms to the fox, but she did. Why? Why do you think she chose to give her mushrooms to the fox? Yes, that's right. She chose to see the fox's situation, and she understood what it might be like to be alone and hungry. She chose to help him in the best way she could. Friends, when you're able to see the situation of others and put yourself in that situation, that's called empathy. Being kind is not always the easiest, and it often takes work and practice. But even in the hardest situations, when we choose kindness, we have made the right choice. How can you choose kindness today? What steps can you take? Remember, everyone, including you, is capable of kindness and of generosity. Think about all the different ways you can show that you have a giving spirit and how you can practice kindness each and every day. Thank you for joining me here today. If you enjoyed this podcast, may I ask you to please write a review and share with your friends. If you feel so inclined, please consider becoming a patron as it will help us to continue publication of this podcast. In addition, if you are a patron, you will be getting an amazing piece of art that goes with this story. Until next time, stay curious, stay kind. Welcome to Curious Minds, Kind Hearts. It's Heather, and I'm so glad.